Hey everybody, Brett from Stardees Gaming here, back with another episode of our uh, RimWorld Warhammer 40k Let's Play. So, um, a lot has sort of happened between episodes. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not sure how to describe it, because it's not that big a deal, but it kind of is. Um, so essentially what happened is like half of our colony is now infected with muscle parasites. Um, I'm not sure how it happened, we just all of a sudden got like a million pop-ups. So, uh, I think Zima has them. Let's see. Yeah, she's got muscle parasites. Halleck has been the worst affected. He's basically been bedridden um, since he got them. He's not even capable of walking, so... Um, Cashin has had to take over most of his duties. Uh, I don't think Remy got them. No. Uh, Mergo is fine as well. Um, so she's been helping out with uh, treating everybody because they have to be treated like every two days. Citra doesn't have them either. Clinton, I believe, does. Yeah. Skinner, um, he's got them. He also got bit or scratched by an iguana. We had some manhunter iguanas that we are now turning into food. Mirage, I think, is fine. Yeah, she made it out okay. She's also wearing one of the new um, jumpsuits. Liara does have them. She's also missing her left thumb. I think that was our doing when we captured her. And then, um, or did we capture her? Did we recruit her from another faction? I don't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, and then, uh, Cashin has them as well, but she hasn't been as affected, so she's been able to take over some of Halleck's duties. It's not that bad. They do, let's, let's look at the effects. So, um, plus 20 pain, minus 30 manipulation, minus 30 movement. Plus 100 tiredness. Um, so they can still function, they just don't function that well. But obviously we can't just have everybody bedridden all the time. And from what I've read in uh, the wiki and various other um, resources, having them rest will not increase the uh, speed at which they recover from this. Um, all resting really does is increase the uh, rate at which they gain immunity to infections. Uh, and there's no immunity involved in this. So, um, resting doesn't actually help them, except to mitigate some of the tiredness. Uh, and they need to be treated every two days, which is not terrible. It's not like every day or every couple hours. So, um, it's it could be worse, certainly, but it does really suck, especially since Halleck is basically um, useless at the moment. So that's something we're going to have to deal with, but hopefully they go away soon. Um, I've read that they can take up to like one or two months, or quadrums or whatever they're called, to go away. So that's going to be pretty brutal. Uh, I've also been told that uh, the Imperial Geothermal Plant produces significantly more energy than the standard one. Now, the reason we didn't go for this one initially is because it requires things that we don't have access to yet, such as Imperial components and power cores, but we will very uh, soon have access to that stuff because the fabricator is currently being worked on. Uh, we just need to get enough steel to build it. Uh, we have everything else we need, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to produce double what that does. So when we have the resources, I think I will tear this one down and build one of these instead. And um, I'm totally cool with that because obviously more power is better. And also, this one looks cooler because it's got um, the Imperial Eagles all over it. And it fits in the same area, so all we have to do is tear that one down and plop this one on top. Um, I'm not sure about the solar generators, but these might be uh, more efficient as well. The problem is... And this is a real oversight on RimWorld's part. Anytime you're building something that generates power, it should tell you what the output is, or at least uh, an estimate in the description, because that's pretty important information. Uh, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to kind of science it and see um, whether or not they're better. I'm going to assume if everything else is double, that these are maybe double as well. So that means that we'll probably end up just uh, tearing a lot of these down to recycle the resources and building uh, a bunch of the Imperial ones in their place. Uh, it's also worth mentioning, too, that uh, eventually we'll have access to solar roofs, so uh, we'll need less of the actual uh, generators out here, and we can basically just turn everything in our base with a roof on it into a um, solar panel. So that is an option as well. 
Uh, I've added another wind turbine just to help us. Uh, they're not doing very well right now, but you know they have been helping. I've also tilled more soil because I noticed that these were growing considerably faster with the tilled soil. The growth rate is up to uh, 154%, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, it was below 100 before. I think it effectively doubled it. So uh, I've tilled the soil on basically everything that we're currently using. And the reason why I wanted to uh, start the episode here is because I wanted to take a look at this bandit camp opportunity with you guys. Uh, when I read these, I always forget where the location is. So I wanted to A, have it on camera and B, discuss it with you guys because it's something that we might consider doing. So uh, Prime Counselor Addiston of the Addiston League has sent us a message. Apparently bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. If we succeed, their relations will improve and they'll send us this reward. We get an adamantium reading table. Honestly, that reward sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's jump to the location. I would rather be paid in silver, to be honest, but we can always sell the, t the reading table. Or recycle it because adamantium is, you know, pretty uh, valuable. So I am here. They are there. Um, that's the faction they've been attacking. There's the Dark Bangers. Hmm. Oh, right. Somebody wanted this destroyed as well. I don't necessarily mind doing that. Uh, my only concern is we have to march right past the... Harad in the 13th division if we if we decide to do that so let's see uh, that is right off the road so almost two days why would you go that way why not um, let's try that again so from here um, let's say out this way like along the road and then along the road would that really? Why? Would, why the hell would you backtrack? Uh, can I get rid of that? Tile is impassable. Oh, okay. So those are impassable. Uh, well, then go to there and then cut. Is that impassable as well? This does not want to cooperate. To me, that seems faster. Two point two. I guess not. Hmm. So let's see. The alternative route was that one in 1.9 so that's a thought although again I'm a little bit more interested in this because that would give us a an M2 Browning machine gun which is the 40k equivalent of a, a heavy stubber uh, turret so how long would it take us to get there one day and assuming we don't take any casualties it would hopefully take us a day to get back um, that is definitely tempting, and I think the amount of time on these is more or less indefinite. I didn't see a, um, a time limit, so that is definitely a thought. I'm just, I'm very concerned about walking past this, and we have no idea what they have there, so I'm not exactly going to just walk over there and attack it. Huh. That's, yeah, that's tempting. Uh, well, I guess we don't have to decide today. It's It hasn't gone anywhere, and that one's been available for a while. So um, let me know what you guys think. Should we attack one or the other? Um, I kind of like the idea of getting ourselves a turret. I don't, I'm pretty sure we can't craft those turrets. Um, I forget what the mod is called, but they are part of a mod that, uh, let's see, that, um, adds several turrets to the game, none of which, or at least very few of which, can be crafted. Most of them are quest rewards or have to be purchased from um, arms vendors. So with that, let's go ahead and get the clock rolling, now that we're well into this episode and we haven't had any actual gameplay. Sorry about that, but uh, always got to fill you guys in on what we're doing. Uh, we're harvesting more steel here because obviously that's been the main uh, holdup for us is having enough steel to uh, complete these things. We need 600 of it for this table. We have 250 ceramite. In fact, we have a lot more than that. Um, 50 plasteel, we should have just enough. 
Yeah, it looks like we do. Um, I think we have a little bit more somewhere. They're, they're slowly bringing it to the, the... What's it called? The stockpile. Um, 15 components. Uh, we might need a little bit of time to get that. But we should be able to finish this fairly soon. And then that will allow us to start building the Imperial components and uh, maybe the power cores that we need for other um, Imperial constructions, including the uh, armor and weapons bench. <sighs> I might need to move this stockpile, because they don't like working near these uh, skeletons. I mean, some of them are almost completely deteriorated, some of them not so much. <sighs> okay, uh, well, we have broken ground on the um, the prison facility. I decided to swap the um, nutrient paste dispenser to the other side of the opening, just so it would be more centered in this room. Not that that really matters, um, but just for the sake of symmetry, um, that made it a little bit closer. And then um, I have planned out a little bit more of you know the base in this direction. It's difficult to see because of the contrast here, but uh, we can fit in some more 5x5 five five bedrooms as well as uh, some more battery banks, although they'll be fairly small. We could probably fit like, I guess we could still get four batteries in there. They'll just be uh, butted up against each other, and then there'll be a small walkway in the middle or something, and we can do two of those, and then three more rooms. These might be officers' quarters or something, just to like separate the, oh great, our camels are pregnant. Uh, I think the, I think this one has like Alzheimer's. Yeah, it does. It was wandering around like in the days or something earlier. So we have camels with bad memory and uh, apparently still having baby camels. That's actually fine because I would not mind having some younger camels and then uh, just slaughtering the, the older ones because they are pretty old. Obviously, if they have Alzheimer's, they are pretty ancient camels. But yeah, um... These could be officer quarters or something, and we'll keep, like, the uh, upper ranks and maybe the commissars in that area. Skinner, what's your deal, man? Um, yeah, why are you working during the day? I have you set for a night shift, but you don't apparently care about that. You are also in pain from the muscle parasites. I can't really help you there. Disturbed sleep, slept on the ground. Why did you do that? Oh, right, because he was resting and, uh... He decided to pick a sleeping spot on the floor rather than an actual bed. Let's um, let's deconstruct these so that they don't use them. And if I have to, I'll craft some more beds in there. Or I guess I could just pull some of these. Um, what resource do we have a bunch of? Got a lot of ceramite. Like a surprising amount of ceramite and promethium. Neither of which... Uh, is worth building a bed out of. But I don't want to waste steel. I guess I can make them out of granite or something. We just don't have very many blocks cut. I think they're not cutting them because there's nowhere to store them. Oh wait, no, there is. I turned this into a stockpile zone because I was having them build floors in here, so I just said, screw it. We'll take the stuff right to where it needs to be. Um, we could make granite beds, I guess. They're only temporary anyways. So, oh, we have access to hospital beds, that's right. The problem is they need steel. Or I guess I could make them out of anything I wanted to. Not going to waste plasteel on that. Um, let's see, so... We have to use 80 steel no matter what. And then the other 40 can be anything. Uh, we'll probably just make them out of steel after, uh we get that bench done. So I'll just wait. And they'll have to take turns in the bed. I don't think anybody's going to need one other than when they come in to get their uh, their treatments. So we'll see. Um, I gave Svolok and Azron their um, their jumpsuits back because they were, they were naked. I felt bad. Um... So those are their original jumpsuits. Their armor is, of course, in the stockpile over here. But I wanted them to have something. And eventually what I'd like to do is um, make, like, designated prisoner uniforms. The problem is I'd like them to be, like, bright orange. And so we'd probably need to make them out of gazelle leather to get that color. You can't really choose the color of something in 
RimWorld. Uh, it's all based on what you, you know, craft it out of. Unless, maybe there's something in the, uh, in the dev tools that allow me to change color after we produce something. I'd rather not do that, but it kind of takes the place of being able to dye clothing. Uh, but eventually I'd like to have, like, bright orange prisoner uniforms. So that, you know, they stand out from everybody else, just in case they sneak out of the, the prison area or something. And we can have them craft them themselves. That way, uh, it's, it's all enclosed within here. I don't need to worry about it getting transferred in and out. <sighs> um, so we need to decide what this is going to be. A few people have suggested uh, some sort of like uh, shrine room or altar to the Emperor. I feel like these are too small for that. But I do like that idea. I do want um, a room with that purpose. I just don't think I'm going to do it in a room like this. I, I think it needs to be bigger. Although maybe not. These are fairly large. So we'll, we'll consider it. Um, one of them might be like a rec room or something for them to relax in. Because the, the cafeteria is going to be pretty tight. Um, there's going to be plenty of places for them to sit, but not much room for anything else. So I guess, yeah, we could turn one of them into a... Into like a recreational room. And then I could potentially... I was going to make one of these a firing range. But I could do that in here. I could make it like this one, for example. And then um, I could connect these to the prison or something and have these be more like um, production facilities that the prisoners can operate. And then I wouldn't need to clutter this up so much. So that's a thought. And in fact, I kind of like that idea because, again, those are bigger rooms than I think I was giving them credit for. So it's something to consider. Um, I have not yet gotten your guys' responses as to what we should do regarding... Um, regarding the heretics so uh hopefully by the next episode i will you know have those in and we can decide what to do the issue now however oh with rumbo should we kill it huh should we kill a thrumbo the problem is they take a lot of firepower to put down but we do have a lot of firepower uh, i don't think i'm gonna do anything with it right now um the problem with uh, our current situation is that these people are no longer considered guilty. They've been um, in captivity too long. So I might have to make these two be the exception. Because if I kill them, people will be upset. Or if I execute them, people will be upset. So um, maybe every, depending on what you guys decide, every heretic after these two will be executed. Um, or if you decide against that, then it, it becomes irrelevant. Looks like Murgo is finally cleaning up the base a little bit, you can see. Um, it's in pretty desperate need of some cleaning. And... Are we still too low on cloth? I think we are. Oh no, one of our coolers broke down. Um, let's see, where did Remy just take off to? I swear I just saw him cutting chunks. There he goes. Okay, so as soon as he drops that, I'll have him repair it. Oh, okay, go ahead and eat then. Yeah, before you do that, go patch this up. We actually have a lot of components, more than I was expecting. Uh, but we've harvested, like, every compacted machinery on the map, so... I guess that sort of makes sense. We've got most of the Prometheum dug out of here, but it was taking so long, I just had them, you know, move on to other things. And there's still quite a bit of ceramite in here, too, and some more steel that we need to dig out. But I need to add some walls around this first. In fact, that's something they could do probably fairly quickly. Um, let's see. Structure. Oh, we don't have any limestone cut. All right. We'll have to wait then. But I'm just going to add a wall around like this, and then we'll eventually double it up. But... Uh... Yeah, we want to make sure that that's as well protected, but obviously I'm trying to keep some symmetry here and make sure all the rooms are the same size. Just for uniformity's sake. Uh, is everybody being treated? That's something I haven't really been checking on. Okay, so it looks like at the end of tomorrow, or at least very early 
in the morning of the day following, um, they'll be ready for treatment. All right, so we just got some cargo pods in. Uh, oh, a bunch of chem fuel. I don't know that we have much of a use for that, but we'll get it hauled so it doesn't deteriorate. And uh, I'm sure we can eventually find something to do with it. What do we have here? Mega Scarab? Interesting. How are we doing on food? It looks like we're doing alright. We've got 40 meals in reserve, and then there's 8 available there, another 10 there. And they might be dumping some in here as well. Yeah, there's 6 here. So there's a lot of meals kicking around. And it looks like there's a bunch of rice um, nearing... Oh, they're actually harvesting some of it now. Okay. And then, of course, we have this entire um, hydroponics room as well. I was actually looking at um, something in the Star Wars playthrough, and we don't have the ability to do it yet. At least, I don't think so. I, th I don't think we've done the proper research yet. Yeah, I don't see it. So, um, there are transparent glass roofs that um, you can use as an alternative to solar lamps. Effectively, you just roof the area over in glass instead of, you know, actual roofs. And it lets the sunlight through, but not as intense, I think, as um, these lamps are. So these are 100%, like, brightly lit. I think the transparent roofs are, like, 90%. But it allows you to effectively um, make hydroponics rooms with significantly less energy requirements. Because... Um, these drain a ton of power, although only during the day, it's worth mentioning. So, you know, at night, these aren't running. So that's, you know, effectively 9,000 watts of power we save at night. But that could be 9,000 watts that we save all the time by using those. Although, again, with that lower light level, um, the growth rate is lower. So these go up to 230%. The highest I've seen with the other type of room is about 180 so we're losing about 50% um, effectiveness. But, uh, again, you're only paying for the, the power requirements of the hydroponics basins, which is... How many of these do we run per room? 12? Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's still a lot of power, but not nearly as much as each one of these lights. All right. So I've added a uh, crafting spot here with the bill to basically just keep making um, smoke leaf joints ad nauseum, essentially. Uh, so I'm hoping that that will help mitigate a lot of the uh, break risks we're having, because everybody's in a lot of pain from these uh, muscle parasites. And a few of the uh, people in you know poorer clothes are having a hard time dealing with the heat as well. Although it's gotten pretty reasonable inside, it's 28 degrees. Um, although the target temperature, I believe, is a lot lower than that. Yeah, it's set to 20. So it should continue to drop, but it, it is pretty reasonable in here, all things considered. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of minor break risks, but it, it's all the people that are infected. They're in a lot of pain, but there's not a lot we can do about that other than, again, craft some joints, let them smoke them, and hopefully uh, that improves their mood. Man, Bragg is flying through those uh, stacks of rice. All right, so it looks like we have gotten all the steel required. We're at 600 to 600. Um, 150 ceramite has been delivered. There is more than enough ceramite here. Uh, every single one of these uh, like yellow barrels is ceramite. So there is, yeah, more than enough. Um, but that took us a lot of steel. We dug out this entire area here and most of this one. Is that one of mine? It is, okay. Well, at least we know now that there's nothing uh, hostile in here. So I'm gonna queue up orders for them to dig out this. Uh, we'll have them get into here as well. And let's do this big chunk. And we'll do that one later. But we gotta keep mining steel. We're never gonna, never gonna not need it. So that's a lot of negatives in that sentence, but you know what I mean. We're always going to need steel, so we always need to be mining it. And it looks like Bragg's keeping pace with the uh, the harvesters. Oh, Zima needs to be treated. Um, Mergo. Actually, what is Cashin doing? 
8.2 hours, so she doesn't need to be treated for a little while. Mergo, can you go treat Zima? Does she need to be fed as well? Yeah, she does. Um, you know what? Prioritize feeding her, because you'll, then you'll bring the meal with you, and then while you're there, you can treat her. As far as I understand, medicine doesn't really help with this either. All you can do is just keep treating them and hope it goes away. But yeah, it's it's pretty rough. If anybody has any tips on how to deal with... Um, on how to deal with muscle parasites, I'd be happy to know. But I have done quite a bit of research, and uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot that you can do. Oh wait, these guys need to be treated as well. Uh, Mergo, sorry to wake you up, but... Yeah, they both need to be treated. Um, I think he needs to be fed as well. He is just like lying here after all. Yeah, nobody's been feeding him. Cashin, that's your job. Let's see. Um, where is she? I have doctoring set to two. And research set to two. I guess I'll set doctoring to one. But I don't think she did much of either. I don't know what she's been up to. Um, she will need to be treated fairly soon, though. All right, so uh, Cashin, uh, could you, you know, go ahead and tend to him first before you go relax? Zima is currently working on this. It looks like all she needs to deliver is the components, and then we'll have it. So I think everybody got treated. Oh, Liara. Um... What are you doing now? Oh, you're taking care of it. Good. And you are set to no medicine. Perfect. I think we're going to need to research uh, some proper painkillers. Because that would help in situations like this. Um, did you go back to bed? What was that about? Oh, Liara needs food. Oh, she's eating right now. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Hopefully we can shake these soon, because this is, you know, terrible. Very, very annoying. Um, it looks like everything we need to build this is here. It's just a matter of somebody coming and doing the work. Remy, um, you're visiting Peter's grave. That's kind of you. I'm probably going to move this. I'm, I don't think I'm too pleased with the location currently. I just don't know where would be a better spot for it. I mean, maybe what we can do is if we do turn in... Like, if we turn this giant area into... Of course, we need to clear the mechanoids out of here first. But um, if we clear this giant area out and turn this into, like, a shrine or, like, a worship room to the empire, uh, emperor, the god emperor, um, maybe we can put all of our dead in sarcophagi. Sarcophaguses? Uh, I feel like sarcoph sarcophagi is probably correct, even though it sounds weird. Um, we could keep everybody in uh, sarcophagi in here rather than burying them in graves. Although I feel like we'd eventually run out of room because, you know, people tend to die in this game. But I don't know. It could be a cool way to deal with it. Mad Animal. A local Mega Scarab. Oh, that Mega Scarab we were seeing earlier. Um, let's go ahead and just mark it for hunting then. And Remy, are you able to hunt? Okay. Yeah, light that thing up. Don't let it kill you, please. Oh, he didn't even hit you. Nice. Okay, well that's dealt with. Um, I really wish Halleck was able to move. I don't know why he got hit so hard. Maybe he's just... Let's see. Does anything in your... Oh, you're a wimp. That's why. Okay, that makes perfect sense then. His pain shock threshold is much lower. And so, um... The fact that he is in pretty significant pain right now basically means that he can't do anything. Uh, what are you up to? Attempting to recruit Driver. Mirage built our Imperial Fabricator. So, let's see what we can do with this thing. Imperial Components, Imperial Nano Components, Refine, Ceramite, Admantium, Admantium, um, Power Cores, Promethium Fuel Blocks. Oh, we can make regular components with this as well. Cool, so we don't even need the other bench. We can just do it with this. Um, statue. Interesting. Um, make Imperial floor seals. Ooh. 
honored Imperial statue. So there's some cool stuff that we can make with this. Some very cool stuff that we can make with this. Um, I think we'll do floor seals in all of these major like um, intersections. We could have like one facing every direction, although uh, it might be hard to center them because I think they're odd numbered, right? Three by three or five by five. Hmm. Oh, we can make rugs for their bedrooms too. Uh, so yeah, three by three or five by five. That means it would be pretty difficult to center it on this. It would be off offset one way or the other. Uh, but we could do them on these sides. So like here and here and then there and there. And maybe a big fat one in the uh, cafeteria. So that's that's a thought. Um, what do they require? Uh, I guess whatever we want to make it out of, we just need 500 of it. And they're effectively sculptures. I feel like we're going to need multiples of this particular thing. Because it seems like uh, there's going to be several different tasks that we need to have happening at these at any given time. So, let's see. For Imperial components, we need four Ceramite, one Silver, and one Component. And that produces two Imperial components. That's not too bad, actually. I think the Ceramite... And, oh, actually, the fact that it requires regular components, too. But at least it's effectively doubling them. So the issue then becomes how many do we need? I don't want to make more than we absolutely have to. So, um... Let's start with armor first. We need ten Imperial components and one Imperial power core. Okay, and then... Refined ceramite is something we'll need to uh, produce there as well. So I think I'll do the armor here, and then the weapons there. And then we can do like a repair bench or something right here. And then I'm going to just put like shelves in these areas so that we can store things that we need. So yeah, we'll do armor first. Let's slap that down. And... Let's queue up things that we need. So create Imperial Components, and we'll have that do 10 times. And then we'll do um, Imperial Power Core, do once. Uh, we should look at the requirements for that, because we may or may not have them. Um, so we need refined Ceramite, refined Admantium, and Uranium. We actually have a lot of Uranium. So let's make sure that we have enough refined Ceramite and Admantium. Um, and then we need a little bit for this as well. So we'll just say 20 refined ceramite. We'll just round up. Um, so refined ceramite, let's do 20 of those. And then finally, uh, I think it was two of that. So that should be everything we need to create this, except for the um, steel, which actually is a lot less than we needed for this, but considerably less. So that's, that's fine. Um, I guess let's just let them get to it. The problem is we have so few people that are crafters, uh, it's really going to fall to Remy or Mirage to do it. What's Liara's deal? Pain? Oh, the corpses. Yeah, I can't really help that. Awful bedroom? What are you talking about? We've got a nice bedroom. I guess it's filthy. We need somebody cleaning. Uh, Skinner, that's sort of your job. Whoops. Let's see. Uh, let's lower those a bit. I want him hauling and cleaning more than anything else. Yeah, that works. And then Citra uh, is sort of doing that as well, but she's also um, hunting and helping with the uh, plants and stuff too because she's actually fairly competent at that. So I can't exactly take her off of it, because then our harvest would take a lot longer. But um, she should be able to help out at least. And then Murgo has way too many other responsibilities to be doing a lot of that. But eventually she does get around to cleaning now and then. We did see her cleaning earlier. So, yeah, I think we just have to wait until we get a couple more hands. But we need these rooms, the bedrooms, cleaned out. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, we were able to finally get our Imperial Fabricator built. Um, I do think we're going to need more than one because, again, there's a lot of variety into what we can craft here. 
And so we want we might want to have one dedicated to the more decorative stuff, like the statues, um, and the the floor rugs and seals. And then the other one will be um, constantly processing the components and stuff that we need for making other things. Um, it may even be worth building. See, I wish these weren't so expensive. Because it would be kind of nice to throw one of these down in uh, the prisoner area and let them do some of the work. But at 600 steel a piece, that's kind of hard to justify. Also, they require a lot of plasteel, which I think we used all, or at least the vast majority of our plasteel to build this. So we might only be able to have one for a while. But at least we've got it, and that will open up several doors for us uh, moving forward. So um, I will start working on this off camera as well as uh, continuing to you know build walls and floors and stuff like that and hopefully deal with these uh, muscle parasites uh, but anyways thank you guys so much for watching I had a great time playing some RimWorld with you and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode <laughs>